Hey, what's going on YouTube? Randall Cornett here. Hope you guys are having a great day. I did want to cover something that I think is pretty important. I think there's a little bit of in, uh, misinformation that's going around about this threshold security list that I kind of wanted to go over and clarify for you guys. So I've heard a lot of misdates about these uh, 13 trading days that happen after the um, a security is listed on the threshold list, right? So what the uh, SHO says is regulation SHO specifies that in order that if all failure to deliver positions in a threshold security persists for 13 trading days, consecutive trading days, the broker or the broker's clearinghouse most close the short position by purchasing securities of like kind and quantity. After the 13 days have elapsed, the broker may not accept any more short sell orders until the fail to deliver position is closed by purchasing securities. So they're saying after 13 uh, consecutive trading days, if these failure delivers have not been covered, they can no longer engage in short positions on the security. So if it lasts for 13 days, so I've heard a lot of people say we're on the seventh day, we're on the sixth day, we're on the eighth day. They're looking at all these past failure to deliver dates. And what you guys have to remember is that this ticker, this timer, this 13 day timer starts after the security has been listed on the threshold security list. So we know for a fact that we've been on it two days. And if we come over here and look at Market Chameleon, you'll be able to see I'll highlight um, AMC here in yellow. So you could see this list, this number, consecutive days is today being, or yesterday being the second day, last Friday being the first day, right? So it's been on there two consecutive days. And today it's not on the list yet, but we did see that it was reported late after the market closed. Um, so if we're on there for the third day, this number, this two number is going to increase to three. But we're only on the second day of that consecutive 13 day time period, right? So people are, I've heard people saying that, well, right now, well, they can't short, they can't engage in any more short positions. They absolutely can. They can continue doing shorts, they can continue doing everything they're doing currently. But once we get to this 13 day threshold, so we're on day two, we've get past 13 days, that's when we'll see them lose the ability to engage in, in new short positions. Um, and then, you know, obviously they'll still be forced to cover. But I want you guys to understand that if you're seeing dates, so it's we're five days out, seven days out, I don't believe that to be correct. So far, currently, we're only on two consecutive days. So I wanted to make this video just to give you guys a little bit of clarification and give you guys some um, an idea of what the numbers really look like. So hopefully this provides a little bit of clarity and you guys can spread this around so people understand what we're dealing with. So a little quick video, just wanted to give you guys an update. If you guys enjoy the content, please do me a favor, like and subscribe all that good stuff. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Love you long time. Peace.